Marco, this is the first time you've been to Broadcast Asia. What are your thoughts on it? Well, I actually was quite impressed with uh, the turnout. Uh, the customers here um, it, are the ones that are really looking to expand within within the Asian market. So we've been actually been having COO and CTO discussions with individuals that have come from Europe and from North America um, that are really looking at their services and their expansion within the Asian market. So it's quite interesting to see. So people are looking at for point products or solutions? It's really solutions. Uh, right now there's been a, a big change as we know the industry is moving towards either IP infrastructures or how they're going to virtualize their systems so that they can be more flexible in delivering the services to this market. Now some of the things that have been going on in this market as well as others have been delayed buying decisions. Yes, I mean clearly when you have such a big disruptive technology shift, um, many customers are looking at different alternatives. Um, they're looking at the possibility of, well, what are the standards and the technology and protocols that they're going to be behind of uh, so that it'll have the longevity that they're expecting when they make these large capital investments. Well, I think part of the issue too is if they don't actually get moving on with hybrid approaches, they'll lose their business window. Yeah, I mean, clearly there's there's other competitors at play here as well. So when, when you look at some of the um, companies like the Netflixes of the world, um, like Google, like Amazon, these platforms have already been built around, you know, off the shelf, IP infrastructures, in many cases virtualized SaaS platforms. Our broadcast customers need to move there so that they can make their systems much more flexible to be competitive and compete against these new entrants into the market. So you're absolutely right, if they don't move quickly, they're going to be caught off guard uh, and in turn will never be able to catch up. Well, I hope you can help them do that for sure. So you're certainly sell worldwide, so how important is the APAC region for you? APAC is approximately 30% of our total uh, turnover for Grass Valley, so it's a really important market. Uh, we have a key uh, uh, regions that are really a stronghold, like Southeast Asia, um, here in Singapore and Malaysia, uh, China, Japan, and then also in Australia. Australia is a really important market for us. Uh, we just um, signed a very large contract in Australia, one of the largest in Grass Valley's history. So we're really proud of that, and we're working very closely with our Asian team.